Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Warsword Conquest, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. This is my High Elf playthrough, and I've been working on tournaments. Now, someone's mentioned to me that this is actually... I've already got 10 tournament wins, apparently. I could be wrong. I think it's only like 9 at the most, but I'm not sure. One thing I want to do, though is at least avoid using this tournament at this location again because we've had two videos of it and I'm sick of it and I'm sure you guys are as well. Now what I want to do is find one of the wizards and see if I can buy anything from him. I'm just going to have a hard time trying to find his location. I also need to recruit as I move. So yeah. We're in a pretty good situation at the moment. If we've got all these tournament wins, I've also boosted my cash funds. So I can start investing those into various enterprises around the world. Now you all know how important getting those enterprises is in this particular game. Because in this mod, enterprises are boosted and they offer quite a bit. And it basically allows me to bounce back from any loss that I suffer because I'm able to mass recruit mercenaries and troops and so on and it's all pretty good. Boost your local economy. I don't think any of this is actually worth it but I don't know what it does. It's just like maybe it's a placebo type deal. I don't know like just build it for the sake of building it. It sounds good but anyway we'll go ahead and make that. Now what I need to do is try and find me. Right, we can recruit these guys, let's take them, although they're quite expensive. Like I said, what I need to be focusing on. Ooh, strong warbow. The speed rating isn't as fast, but it's got more damage. What I want to do is get these enterprises built. Do I not have an enterprise here? Oh, that's odd. I wonder if it's because it was not as... I don't know. What is the reason for me not to have an enterprise here? Oh, maybe it's because it's not paying out as much as other places did. That could very well be the answer. Since it's very close, I'm going to go with iron because iron will be cheaper than olives and silk and dye for roughly the same price. Plus it gives me the option of trying to, you know, break up what I'm building. So I could go ahead and get some territories in Martech, or enterprises in Martech and Lashik. I think that would be a good investment, I've still got 23,000. So, to Martech we go. Plus we can check the taverns while we're there. Look for that wizard. Okay, meet the guildmaster. Hello there. I think these ones do a special one. I'm not sure. Eh, silken dye it is. Maybe it was flax they needed. I'm not sure. Visit the tavern. Nope, don't see him. Meet the guildmaster. 
Olives is 1300, iron is 1300 again. Silk and dye is less than. Is it flax? There's something around here that's worth like a massive amount. It's not wool. I guess I go with iron then since it's roughly the same price, just to spread it out plus it's cheaper. I'm going to make my way down to Zandri and invest as well. I think it'll be worth it. And just looking at my character, I've been putting points in the strength. Now, I need to stop doing that. Because if I want to put points into anything, I need agility. I need that athletics and I need the... Uh, the weapon speed. Now I currently have mm, charisma's going up there. It would make sense for me to invest points into charisma until I get my next point. Strength I could max out before agility. I'm not sure. Anyway. Gonna battle here with some might be easy to deal with opponents. We'll just get the high ground because they're gonna be charging us. We will load them up with arrows. that experience that mattered and we didn't lose anyone. Focus on getting the archers up first. Don't know what I should do with her. But we'll see. Oh, we've got more. You know what, I think I'm better off just having everyone hold here. Why not? At least we'll be ready for them. through his shield and into his back. These are some fancy shields. Ah! 
and we lost one. Dead caught up to us. No one here I want to recruit, so let's move on. I could take this to sell actually, but it's barely worth anything. Let's continue our march. There we go, we're making a bit of money. High Elf Merchant, yeah, show me what you got. Shadow Elite Armor, although I don't really want to spend any money at the moment. Ooh, High Elf Arrows. Yeah, that's what we want. High Elf Strongbow, that means it's going to be a close quarters bow. Hey. Welcome, well, I say welcome back, he hasn't joined us before, but he has now. Still, we couldn't find who we wanted to speak to. So with that done, I guess it would be in my best interest to continue traveling around. How much money do I have? I can't really invest into another... You know what? It's no good. Even if I find a wizard, I'm not going to be able to afford anything he's selling at the moment, so... That's why getting these enterprises set up is important. Let's head home. Although we could fight these desert bandits, get that experience. I mean, we're heading the same way, so if I chase them down this way, it's all good. Lucky for them. At some point I'll start working on like horsemen and such, but now. Let me just get my archer archers set up. I mean, no one wants to be recruited. Nonsense, I own this place. You should all be begging for me to recruit you. Begging. Have a quick look at the tavern, see what's what. See what's what. Hmm. Nothing really. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much money if I can help it. I'll start working on some cavalry now. Some white lines, perhaps. As well. Or maybe the swordsman. I don't know. There's a lot of choices. The high elves have got a good uh, variety of troops. If I can get that weekly payoff, I can invest in yet another place. I suppose my best course of action at the moment, though, is to move down and try to pick off some more beastmen. 
Although that's not really the easiest thing to do. We took Tor Anlek back, which is good. Let's have a look inside and see what's happening. Come on, please have a merchant. I just want to confirm that I've got enough tournament wins. That's all I want to do. Get that confirmation. Just travel, but be careful as we're doing it. Not really much point me traveling across, but the war herd. 50 of them. So these are my highest, like, ranged. So my ranged aren't doing too good at all. Move these guys down. What they got? Warriors, half horns. We could legit take these guys out. I think. I would just need to ensure. We can keep them at bay. Kill the rest, come on. strength is starting to come into play. Down he goes, very good. It's went pretty well actually. I'm covered in blood but I didn't get hit, did I? Anyway, we can hire some of these people back, which is good. Boost my army a little bit, Phoenix Guard, nice. The rest we'll leave. We'll take what we can potentially sell. Okay, Gorse Bite is going to be a bit too tricky, so we're going to pull back from here. Continue just playing it safe and be careful. Oh god, I should have made that Spearman. Oh well. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and be sure to join me again next time. Until then.